Chris, tell us the title of your book and tell us what it's about. The title of my book is Get Off Your Ass and Manage Your Money, Why You Need Alternative Investments. Yes, I love it. <laughs> Like, who is Chris? So I grew up in a family of ease. If you read The Cash Flow Quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki, I was an employee. That's what I knew. Go get an education, get a job with benefits, and work there till you die. 2009, I went through uh, what I finally refer to as an illiquidity event. We all know what liquidity events are, right? <laughs> illiquidity events are typically bad things. I went through a life event in uh, 2009 where I lost 55% of my assets and thousands of dollars in cash flow every month for a period of time. Now, I like to say I'm in the position where I would like to help other people get to where work is a choice instead of a necessity. You know, what do you do? How, how do you recover from that? Recommended a book, which we all know, and it turned out to be Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And I read that book and I was like, wow, there's this, there's this whole other world of personal finance and investing. Conventional investments are pretty much everything that's publicly traded. Stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETF. Those are your conventional investments. Everything else is alternative investments. Okay. Who typically invests in alternative investments? Rich people do. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, you don't need to be rich to do it. You just need more financial education. And when you said, is it new? Well, dirt has been around for a long time. And so dirt, <laughs> raw land is real estate. And then you put a building on it. And now you've improved that real estate. So it is, uh, it is not new for sure, but for some reason, Everything that is thrown at us through the media is all about stock sponsored and mutual funds. Ask your employer if you can do an in-service transfer. And I said, what's an in-service transfer? He said, well, that's where you're younger than 55 and you're still working, you're still employed in the, and they will let you move some of your money out of their 401k into another plan. And then you can put it into a self-directed 401k and invest in real estate or notes or whatever you want. And what, why should anybody listen to me? What credibility do, do, do I have? So I actually did have a record and I had increased my net worth by 5.6 times over those 10 years and, and, and quit my job. And that would have never happened had I stayed on that 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 conventional path great question well i call it the conventional investing wisdom and it is it's investing in a portfolio of stocks bonds and mutual funds typically through a 401k with the expectation that that is going to get you to financial freedom or an abundant retirement lifestyle we all know that the majority of americans follow this they don't even know where they got this wisdom it's just kind of you come out of the womb knowing this is how you do it. And, and the truth is it doesn't work for 91% of the population. We're constantly being bombarded with this conventional wisdom. It just doesn't work. It works for really high income and really high net worth people. 90 plus percent of the population, I would estimate, is over here in this conventional world. You get out of life what you put into it. So with these conventional things, you're putting absolutely no effort into it. So you're going to get a very minimal return. The question always is, well, how, how big does this mountain of money need to be in order to retire? What we do know is we know that if, if we live in a certain city and we're making $100,000 a year, we know what that lifestyle looks like. So let's just take $100,000 a year and apply the reverse 4% rule and you get a $2.5 million portfolio.